Let's take a look at this problem. We got log base 3 of x plus 1 is equal to negative 2. First step, get everything with the log on one side and numbers on the other side. That's done. Second step, use properties of logs or basic algebra get a single log. We already have a single log. That's done. Step 3, use definition log to rewrite in exponent form. Now, the number that follows the log that's smaller is our b. Then what follows that is our q and then the other side of the equals is our p. Now our exponent form looks like this. b to the p is equal to q. So we'll plug in what we just identified. We said b was 3, p is negative 2 equals q which is x plus 1. Now um, step 4 is to solve for x. To begin with, notice that we have a negative uh, exponent. We don't want negative exponents, so we get rid of a negative exponent by taking it opposite of where it's at in a fraction. So in order to do that, I have to create a fraction, so I throw it over 1. Now we're going to take the part with the negative exponent opposite of where it's at in a fraction, so I'm going to take it downstairs. Now when I do that, it becomes 3 to the positive 2. Whenever you move anything opposite where it's at in a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. So 3 to the negative 2 becomes 3 to the positive 2. Well, 3 squared is 9, equals x plus 1. Now I'm going um, I'm, I'm to follow my steps for solving a linear equation. There's a, there's a little shorter way, there's a shortcut to this, um, but I'm going to follow those. Uh, first step, get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions, don't have any. Oh, I'm going to do a fraction, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to apply everything by 9. I'm sitting here watching TV when I should be working this problem. So I'm multiplying by the LCM of all my denominators. We only have one denominator, so that is your LCM. So I multiply the fraction by it, the x, and the 1. When I say everything, I'm, about t I'm talking about what's separated by pluses, minuses, and equals. Well, these 9's are going to cancel. And so we're left with the 1 here, equals 9x, plus 9 times 1 is 9. Step 3. Get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other. So I'll take the 9 over to the left side. We get 1 minus 9. Remember, you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. Our note at the top says combine together like terms at any step. That's the note for linear equations. So 1 minus 9 is negative 8. And then I want to divide both sides by a number in front of your x, which in this case is a 9. I do that. These 9's going to cancel. And we got x is equal to negative 8 ninths, maybe. Let's plug that back in over here in our original problem. If I put negative 8 ninths here, I got negative 8 ninths plus 1, which gives me a positive 1 ninth, which is not 0 or negative. So this, this checks. And that's our answer.